hope you guys are doing well and uh, today i'm going to tell you about the html5 semantics so uh, some of the non semantic elements are uh, uh, dev and then span this is uh, uh, this cannot tell anything about the about its content to the uh, browser and uh, uh, browser can automatically and uh, Google robots automatically read uh, data from your uh, uh, website but in HTML5 some of the uh, semantic elements are form and uh, tables and articles which uh, uh, clarify define its uh, content and uh, all the browser can support uh, uh, this uh, uh, modern thing so now I'm gonna uh, show you some uh, real-time usage of uh, the sections so section according to w3c HTML uh, 5 documentation a section is a semantic grouping of uh, content typically with the headings so you can uh, add some headings here and uh, you can also add some paragraph this tell the browser and uh, mm, uh, this kind of content we are uh, uh, working on and uh, second thing is uh, 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 if you are working with the blogs or uh, maybe you are creating uh, uh, form post uh, and uh, newspaper articles um, article tag which uh, mm, allow you to uh, tell the uh, browser to uh, uh, this is the article uh, and what uh, you are using like uh, uh, heading and paragraph this uh, will uh, automatically uh, Google can uh, identify the which is the article uh, so if you are working with the blogs you need to add articles the articles data uh, will uh, prioritize your uh, article thing uh, first and then others so now I'm gonna tell you about the header tag so the header element specify a header for a document or section so the header element should be used as a container for uh, introductory content like uh, if you are working uh, working with the side you need to uh, add some logo here uh, or maybe your uh, logo here and uh, also uh, you need to add some links here or navigation maybe uh, and the uh, email or phone number um, blah blah so uh, this uh, is uh, just tell you the um, um, most of your uh, header content uh, which contain all those data uh, tells the uh, Google search or maybe uh, browser search uh, that is our uh, header thing so it will uh, also prioritize your uh, this data and uh, you can also use this uh, header in the article tag so um, it will uh, just uh, tell the header thing to your Google search or maybe um, any other search uh, so all the uh, search engines can automatically prioritize your data uh, if you don't uh, do not use this uh, uh, these tags this HTML5 tags um, the 
browser can behave as a non semantic uh, so your content uh, will be um, readed as a uh, simple text file so uh, that is very recommended thing uh, to use uh, uh, these tags in your uh, website so you can also have the footer tag that will uh, define your uh, footer you can also um, just add the posted by things or maybe you have the contact information and uh, and some email or maybe um, if you are uh, um, add this article uh, that can um, just only read uh, this tag and uh, their data and um, crawl into their search so uh, that uh, is uh, very important to use you can also uh, have the have another tag uh, which is nav navigation tag which contain all your navigation so the all robots will behave as a um, just uh, grab your data as a navigation so uh, it is uh, also very recommended uh, to use uh, and the other hand uh, you also have the a side tag which define your sidebar so and the uh, and next thing is uh, the figure caption figure and then image and then fig caption which uh, which can define our uh, cards or maybe um, image and uh, um, information about this image uh, so hmm, th that is uh, a very uh, useful thing uh, you can uh, add this uh, uh, figure caption thing in uh, um, most of the time because uh, you need to add some services or maybe you can add some cards uh, so it will uh, mm, automatically help the search engine to index your image and then uh, about their uh, information so in the in the previous HTML 4.0 um, which we have only all tag to define uh, the uh, image uh, data so now we have the figure caption also um, you can also add the uh, headings or paragraph uh, um, related to your uh, image so why semantics elements so <coughs> I'm gonna tell you some uh, the importance of these uh, uh, tags so uh, which HTML5 developers use their own IDs and classes uh, name to style element header top bottom footer uh, menu navigation and containers and content articles and sidebar and top nav this made it impossible for search engines to identify the correct uh, web page content with the new html5 element uh, which we have write down here this will uh, become very easier to read the uh, read your website mm, uh, that is very easier for the uh, data crawler so according to the w3c uh, semantic web allow data to be shared and reused cross applications uh, enterprises and communities uh, so uh, this is why we uh, need this uh, in our uh, uh, website so uh, website can also behave very well uh, while using the HTML5 so that's all for now 
uh, in our next video i'm gonna tell you some uh, other uh, new tags um, in the defines in the uh, html5 so uh, subscribe my youtube channel and uh, Mm, click the bell icon don't uh, you just uh, I'm gonna add the uh, website link in my description you can also visit my website and uh, view um, our other courses so that's all for now and uh, see you guys in my next video